Prime Minister, Doncaster Sheffield Airport is going to close this month. You've said you will protect the airport. How are you going to do that? Well, I'm very disappointed to hear what's been announced about the airport. And what I want to do is make sure we engage with all parties to see how we can find a way forward. Regional airports are incredibly important. You've only got a month. How are you going to save it? Well, what the first thing we will be doing is talking to all the parties to see what can be done. And I will be, and the Transport Secretary will be saying more after that. The uh, Council at Doncaster and the South Yorkshire Mayor say that since the closure was announced, they've had no contact with any ministers at all. Well, I will make sure that we are in touch with them to deal with this issue and make sure we're doing all we can to support local growth and the local economy. Okay, and just finally on the, on the airport, uh, the, your own Department for Transport says that this was a commercial decision for the owners and has given no indication that your government's going to intervene on this. Are you going to intervene to save the airport? Well, what we're going to do is engage all the parties and see what can be done because it's an important regional facility. Let's, let's talk about fracking now. Uh, this is an area at Yorkshire where lots of proposed fracking sites are located. You said fracking will only go ahead where there is local consent. How will you measure that? Well, that's absolutely right. We need to make sure that when we undertake these projects that it does have local support and that is something the business secretary is looking at to make sure that any fracking that does go ahead does command support of local people. And how will you measure that support? Well there are various ways of measuring that support. He will, he will set that out in due course but the principle is very clear that we will only go ahead in areas of local support. There is a suggestion that you may offer new schools and GP surgeries to areas as a kind of incentive to allow fracking to take place. Is that right? Well, as I've said, we haven't set out the details of how we will assess local support, but you know, let's look at why we're doing this. The reason we're doing this is because the UK had become dependent on the global energy price. The government has had to step in mm -hmm. to help people with energy bills. We feared that they could be as high as £6,000. Right. We've now put in the energy price guarantee. I, but what we need to make sure is we're never in that situation I, I again. Understand that. And that's Some why of your it's MPs important. Though, are very concerned about this, and they have accused you of buying off local communities. One of your MPs, Mark Fletcher, has said that. Is that right? Well, no. Uh, but what is right is that we do need to produce more homegrown energy. And that can be renewable energy like wind farms. It can be solar energy, it can be nuclear energy, but we also need to look at fracking. And how will and we you do make need sure that there is secure. local consent? Well, we do need to secure local support for it. I'm very clear about that. And you'll secure local support by offering schools and GP surgeries and money I'm not going banks. into exactly okay. how we will assess local support, but the local support principle is important. But I think we all need to take responsibility for the UK okay. being able to produce more energy because this is the reason okay. we're facing these huge energy bills which the government has had to step right. in to help deal you, with. You've said you will deliver Northern Powerhouse Rail in full. Does that mean a full new line all the way from Liverpool to Hull with a stop in Bradford? It does. Uh, and when will you deliver that? We will set out the timetable in due course. Okay, but there will be a brand new electric line with there a stop in Bradford. There will be and it will stop at Bradford. I'm very clear about that. Okay, uh, and just finally on the economy, I was listening to a man from Yorkshire recently uh, who accused you of peddling fairy tale economics and he said your tax cuts would do nothing to help poorer people and pensioners. I understand people are concerned and that's why we've stepped in to help with energy prices but having a growing economy helps everybody. That man that's from Yorkshire was, was Rishi Sunak, he was right wasn't he? The, a growing economy helps everybody because what it means is it means more jobs, higher wages, more opportunities everywhere in the country. And ultimately, that is what is going to deliver the public services that we need in the future. And the fact is this country has had low growth for too long. And we've suffered from COVID, we're suffering from the war in Ukraine. That is why we need to do things differently. That is why we need to go for growth. That's partly about lowering taxes because currently taxes are a 70 year high. But it's also about delivering infrastructure projects quicker, you know, making sure we are becoming self-sufficient in energy. Those are all important parts which will help deliver growth. Prime Minister, thank you for speaking. Thank you.